Hi guys, I'm John Biggs with TechCrunch, and we have two uh, young people wearing uh, cat ears. What's going on here? What are you guys doing? Uh, we were in Japan, and we have uh, my PQG assistant. Uh, we have many, and we uh, create. Uh, What's this thing on your head? What is this? Uh, this is Neko Mimi in Japan, uh, cat, cat ear, and this ear is boob. <laughs> Is this is are we allowed to have this technology in this country? What's that? What's what is uh, it? It's Japanese technology, but uh, we get uh, uh, in supermarket shop in Japan. You get it first. Yeah. You get these cat ears first. We get them like 20 years later. <laughs> really? right, what is your product? What are you guys trying to do? Our product is uh, my epic gear. Uh, this is online avatar service, and you can register uh, our service. You can uh, register any goods. You have iPhone, any books, any fashion items, many, many things you have inside. Uh, register your goods and you are impressed. Your goods is very, very good. And you can. Uh, so it's Epic, what's the website? Uh, what? ore.nosou.biz. Uh, and you're going to. Yeah, that's really in Japanese. Uh, it's in, uh, in Japanese, ore no sobi. And you can, uh, this uh, weekend, we have special site in the, our tech grant. And you have those ears for me. I'm going to have those ears later. Mm -hmm. I'm wearing the ears. All right? Perfect. Thanks, guys. Where do we miss? We, we missed you guys. We have got these weirdos. Yeah, I love Cincinnati. I'm from Ohio. I'm Columbus. And these ping pong balls are very familiar to me. I've, I've used these before. Yes, well, you can take a few with you. It was a weird place. It was in South Korea. It was really strange. It was a long night, and I didn't feel well. Nice. Please continue. Yes, yeah, so Hapsing's uh, mobile app tracks when your favorite things are happening. We start blank, but we let you follow and track any sources that are publishing activities, and then it puts it all in easy to review format, easy ads to your calendar, easy to see what friends are up to, helps you find out what you want to do. So, like, if I'm going to find out my friends are going to go shoot rats at the pier, this is where I go? You could do that, but it's more like if you're going to go to a concert and you didn't know a friend was going to go, then it would show you that they're also planning to attend, and maybe you can meet up for a drink before. How is this better than Foursquare? Better than Foursquare because it's not a check-in and it's not where you've been. Oh, plan. It's uh, it's all about where um, your favorite things are, not places that you've been to before, or places nearby. All right, perfect. What's the website? Hapsing.com. Excellent. Thank you. What are you guys doing over here, Frogman? Hi. How you doing? What's up? What's what's this thing? So Hyperfair is a virtual trade show environment so that you can interact with other people in a business social way. So it's a 3D avatar-based environment. So it's like Second Life, but boring. Second Life, but more interactive, where you actually can do business, uh, exchange information. But yeah, it is somewhat similar to the Second Life engine. So let's can we take a look at what you had got on going on here? Well, if we had internet connectivity at Disrupt San Francisco, I'd be able to show you. So it's actually running. All out. right. Well, we're gonna fix we're gonna fix your internet connectivity. That's the first. That's the primary issue. Okay. Do you know the Do you know the passwords for all this stuff? No, it's just just not working. Just not working. It's just too darn slow for us to do. So we stuff. will we will solve this issue for you. Awesome. We're gonna come back for you. Thank you. All right. Uh, jobs you'll love. These guys are very busy, apparently. We, did we talk to you guys yet? You know why? Because we love you guys, and we want to save you guys for mid to the last of this, this presentation. Sure. What are you up to? Uh, we're in a uh, mobile app platform for small businesses, and uh, what makes us special is the fact that our templates are very well researched, so it makes it easy for small business owners to get started and build an app. We take the guesswork out of the process, and we build apps for users that actually uh, help business processes and improve revenue. So did you steal our logo, and are you making your own app? Uh, we did. We stole your logo shamelessly, and uh, we just built a sample app. This is for conferences and events. It's the first template we launched. So it's really easy to customize uh, the appearance and uh, choose the features that you need. This is what the iPhone app looks like over here. Yeah, it's a live preview. So anything you change, for example, I can update the icon and it'll update instantly. So it's really easy for people who are totally non-technical to go through this process. It's step by step. It's like a wizard, essentially. And then once you've selected the features you want, you can go ahead. For example, this is the schedule. Add something to the schedule and you see an instant preview as you type and that's something for the schedule so it's so they download this app the i TechCrunch app and it's up uh, updated automatically from the back end yeah. so every single app out there gets updated automatically um, just this app so it would be an app that uh, goes to the uh, app store and google play and users can download it we also give uh, everyone a web app as well so what's the website 
Uh, KitApps.com. KitApps. Not Kit Apps, because that's kind of weird. No, that would be weird. No. That's all different. That's all different app store. All right, very cool. Let's head over here. I've been looking for you guys the whole day. What's going on over here? What is this? Where are you? This? Okay, this is your dog. This is the dog of people that are coming by. They tweet the pictures of their pets and they participate in a contest. So, you tweet the picture of your pet and you can vote if it's. Cute, posh, funny, or tough. This is what our app does. I think I think you guys may have. This may not be a good. So that you tweet pictures of pets and then you vote about the pets. Yeah, because people love pets. So we created an app for so that they could upload pictures of their pets and find pet lovers that are living near them, and that have the same kind of pet. So they can go dog walking together, take care of them. This sounds like satire. Satire. Why? Like I always make fun of like I make social networks for people who have goats and stuff. Yeah. So this seems like that. How is this different? It's different because pets have become the new kids, right? Like 91% per, of Americans think that pets are the new kids. So it's important for them. And people need pe uh, trustworthy people to take care of their pets when they're away, uh, vet tips, uh, and just connect with other people that have something in common. And All right. Our users are All right. Really loving it. I'll give you guys the benefit of the doubt. I'm sure there are people. You do not give children dog food though that's one thing to understand no. no you don't but you do give dogs real food that is good and healthy for them all right good kloof k-l-o-o-f-f -O -O yes. dot com free free available in the app store for right. we're gonna i'm gonna try this out because i don't have a dog anymore because there's sort of something weird happened it's a great way to meet new people i'm gonna meet new people uh, that's what i'm gonna use yep. convince them i have a dog uh, Let's go to the alien guys over here. What are you guys working on? Um, we're a group networking service group, uh, service right here. It's for um, all the groups, group of friends, like colleagues. You so it's like GroupMe? It's a GroupMe, but it, it also has... Yammer? Yes, it's like a combination of both. So it has a <laughs> group instant messaging service, plus the board, where you can... Episode is what it's called, right? So it's, it's uh, composed of chat and board. So if you go into chat, it's a chatting. It's just group chatting, just like all the other group chat. But then on the back side, you see all these group board. All right, we need something like this. So you're going you're gonna to drop me a line, John at TechCrunch. All right? Yep. All right, perfect. All right. Thank you very much for watching this very brief uh, experience uh, here on the Startup Alley. There's so many more so many more companies to look at. I think there's like 130 here every day, so it's going to be insane. We're going to keep trying to do this. Thanks for watching.